Good morning, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. We're going bike racing today, Dan. Bike racing. Road racing. So we are at the GT Ellingworth, third and fourth cat road race. 44 miles or so-ish. Should be about two and a bit thousand feet of climbing. We did this race, well, we did this course last year, a different race, and we, we did okay as a team. The good thing about cycling, Dan, is you can claim success from your teammate's success. So last year, one of our teammates won. I didn't, Tell and you didn't, it. but we took the success from that, didn't we? So if that happens today, that's absolutely fine. Four riders here today, myself, Dan, uh, Lee Tunnicliffe, who rode the London, whatever well, it was, Ride London, Ride London 100 yesterday, and who's uh, Dean as well. So a team of four, uh, four capable riders, and looking forward to getting a good, get, getting stuck in. We've just driven the course to refresh our memories from last year. What are you, what are you thinking? Narrow, tight gravelly yeah all the stuff that you want from a road race <laughs> exactly what you want to hear so we've had a good recce i think the key is today going to be staying towards the front if possible but that's easier said than done i don't know if you're getting this vibe but we haven't got a huge amount of time and all this is doing is delaying dan getting his bike and stuff out and he's making it quite clear that we need to be cracking on so it's, so it's amazing how they predict <laughs> predict our finishing positions before you even start isn't i'll it? take that 58 yeah nice one yeah. i didn't go to the toilet let's go to the toilet <laughs> Yeah, you never know. When you're a triathlete, mate, you take it everywhere. <laughs> anyway, let's get a bike sign, get ready. Okay, so bike setup for today. This is not my finest work. Now, my Wahoo Rome is playing up, just keeps turning on and off. So I've gone to the bolt, which I think is going to be okay, but the mount obviously won't work because it's a different size. So I've just put some gaffer tape on it because the mount is important to get the footage. I'm going to do a separate video, hopefully analyzing the race, because if I win, I'm going to do 10 videos analyzing the race. But it takes me a little while to go through all the footage. So in the next few days, race content will come out front of my camera on today i've scaled down the quality so that i can get hopefully the whole race in we'll see but yeah other than that bike's ready to roll nrg drivetrain as per usual so that's all waxing and ready to rock and roll and yeah let's get ready to rock that's not very aero dean yeah if you're all right yeah not too bad. good lee's here somewhere isn't he yeah i think he's gone oh, okay. i'm just gonna check oh. everything okay. yeah <laughs> Oh, see that when he got that side lens was flexed. Zoom in on His there. bike's like, don't snap me in half, please. <laughs> Will says that when you sit. <laughs> <laughs> Just sorting all stuff out in Dan's car. Dan, can you ex explain something to me and the viewers, please? Glass, mate, I promise. <laughs> okay. Is that a true story or not? Yeah, I borrowed it off Chris Froome. <laughs> He wins Wait, today. The tablets mm. in my bag. I'm jo joking. <laughs> joking. For those that don't know, Dan is not just a, a hoodie, he's bike fitted Dan. And he's just admiring my shifter position. Which I tell people, Dan, I tell people you set it up like that. Yeah, no, I just want to clarify that. It's nothing to do with me. You're distancing yourself as much as possible, aren't you? It's all about aero, mate. I mean, look at that. That just says. It's not even aero. It's <laughs> area. No. My front area is that small, mate. I just slipped straight through the air. That says, look, I'm a third cap. I've not scored any points yet this season. So I need to get some numbers on the board. That's what that says. You'll be, you'll be going really fast when you can't brake because you can't reach the levers. Braking only slows you down. But I don't want to brake in a race. Perfect. Check that out. <laughs> Ridiculous. On the drops. I feel the drops though. The drops are normal, yeah? Spend most of the time on there, Ooh. but when you you can't get when you're in a, no, no when you're in a break, where are you? Go ahead, go on, put your put your wrist down. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Still can't break. <laughs> Staying clear of you today. <laughs> you will be. Able to Race Dan? Oh, yeah, very good. Did you win? Yeah, enjoyed that. Yep. <laughs> really good. Um, we're in the mixer out. Good race, Dean. Yeah. Good race. yeah. In a break of three for a while, weren't you? Yeah. Just dangling. Just uh, got chased down after a while. I thought it was. Not by us for once. Yeah. It was uh, 
we got a bit of a gap, didn't we? Yeah, you did, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. You were away with, I'd say, you, you try and spot the riders who are riding strong, and there were two guys that were riding yeah. really strong, and you were away with them, I thought, ooh, yeah. that's a difficult place to be. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you were right. going well. I was, yeah, I, I certainly did me. James, I like that. Yes. It was good. We were in the mix throughout. A break of three stuck, and there were two Derby CC riders who we don't like. Um, <laughs> stayed away uh, for first and third and then we didn't have anybody in the top 10 did we but Lee was best placed at, at the bottom of the final climb but it's finishing up a hill so it's always going to be difficult so it's going to go chuck numbers back and that is it good day on the pedals on the last lap I committed everything to try and bring the brake back like I worked really hard Dan did look like I was working really hard you look like you're working hard <laughs> but then the gap wasn't coming down was it the gap, the gap wasn't coming down <laughs> We were all really well positioned throughout yeah. the whole race, I think. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's what we did really well. Mm. Yeah. I like this, before I post the race footage, we can just talk about how good we were, and then when we see the footage, we just see the opposite. <laughs> I think it's up sometimes, like, the result's the result in it, but, yeah. like, personally, yeah. versus what we, we were really previously. We were really good at, like, 95% of it. It's just, like, 5% of the finish we weren't very good at, but <laughs> that's where it counts. Right, Johnny, you've got an eight-second slot to talk about how your team's performed today. Oh, you're going to need about eight days. <laughs> We're just splitting team prize money from Derby CC because that's such a big help to, to you. Letting, letting the break, winning break go, I made it happen that's by it, dangling yeah. halfway across. How was your race? Yeah, it was awesome. Really enjoyed that. So um, you had yourself, yeah. you had Paul, and you had Otto, <laughs> who's a junior fourth cat. Yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore, he's just won. No. So straight to third cat today. First yeah. junior, yeah. first fourth cat, yeah. and first overall. Yeah, 130 quid. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> how was the race? How was the race other than that? Yeah, it was good. We sort of got a vague plan that I was just gonna go full crit mode early doors. Which Why I did that happen? I didn't see you. Oh, right, and okay. uh, managed to eventually snap the elastic, get away with one other, Bernard. Mm -hmm. He's an absolute monster, I'll say that. On fair play to him. You said he's Spanish, isn't it? So you felt like you were it's actually Maltese, in a Maltese, apparently. Oh, is he? Not Spanish, yeah, Maltese. I felt, I felt full on Euro. It was great. I really enjoyed it. And then, uh, yeah, so <coughs> Paul and Otto have bridged across, made a group of five, and we finished the job, yeah. Um, so I really was thinking that. Class went more, really, can you? Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. And then this afternoon, you've got Josh and Adam in the E123. Josh and Adam in the E123. Are you supporting them with bottles? Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. You do a better job than we did at Lincoln. Yeah. <laughs> That's We're not talking about that, are we? Yeah. Good. Good day out. Well done, Derby CC. Good to see you. I'm from the tour. Good to race with you. All right. Thanks, See you later. There we go then, race done and dusted. Dan has an electric car and there's not much battery left in it, so I think we're gonna go and try and find somewhere to charge it. And this is gonna be a theme on the channel over the next few weeks because the gentleman who I'm going to challenge Roth with, with has an electric car, so that'll be interesting going across Europe. Anyway, um, I'm really happy with how I rode, to be honest. I wasn't sure how my legs would have recovered post outlaw, so to feel okay and to be able to be in the mix and to be able to be relevant was absolutely fine. I'm not mad obsessed with trying to you know, win these things. It'd be great to be involved, but I've had a good ride, good training session. There, were, uh, there was one crash, so hopefully those guys are okay. And yeah, good day out. I'm gonna be analyzing the race footage over the next few days, and I'll do some like commentary and pick out some key bits from it hopefully the gopro has lasted a long time so that is it thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please do hit the subscribe button down below i'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock it might be a road to roth episode tomorrow i don't know see you later